Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to turn a black graphic and change the color. Okay, so let me just back up real quick. One really common question that I have been asked is how do you change the color of a graphic? So you go to a place, say like Pixabay or maybe any of the other websites I've talked about in my video about where you can get free fonts and graphics with commercial use licensing, and you want to work with a graphic and you get it for free and you absolutely love it, but you want to change the color. And if you'll notice, a lot of the times you might find some beautiful ones, but they're black. Okay, so you might want to change the color of them or alter them or whatever, and you don't know how to do it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using ipicky.com, okay, which is an awesome free website that you guys will love using. If you aren't familiar with it already, it doesn't matter if you have a PC or a Mac, you don't have to download anything. It's totally free to sign up for an account. They'll never email you about anything. And if you want to support them, what I did was I just went ahead and enabled ads, but it never gets in the way. However, back to the tutorial. So I'm gonna go to pixabay.com, all right? I'm gonna type in the word, let's just say heart, all right? And we're not trying to work with an image here, we're trying to work with a vector graphic. So it's going to bring up what they have. Okay, 23 pages of them, all right? And as you can see, a lot of them here already have colors, okay? And you might really love what they have. And if you're dealing with a color, a lot of times these can be much easier to work with. Okay, it might be easier to lighten them or throw a filter on them or something to that effect. But what if you want to change it all together? And what if what you find is awesome, but again, it's only in black. So I'm going to work with this one. All right, I happen to have thought that this was super pretty, but again, I would love to change the color of it. So what I did was I went to ipicky.com and I hit create a design just real quick. You can do awesome things with this website. You can edit photos, you can make a collage, you can create designs, digital art for, for printables and t-shirt designs and all kinds of stuff. In this case, I'm going to hit create a design. It's gonna load right up and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So as you can see here, they're giving you by default a landscape shaped um, background here with a canvas color of white. What I'm going to do I'm gonna change it to a square, which will by default give you a 2400 by 2400 pixels. You can go up to 4000 by 4000, I believe, unless they've increased it since then. I'm gonna hit transparent canvas because it's always best to start with the transparent canvas if you can, not as easy to change it to transparent once it's already been done, okay? If you wanted to, bring in an image this is where you would do it you can simply add the images that you have downloaded as you can see i have done here i have a library of things that i have just randomly brought in and what's cool since they've updated it is i can they're all still here whereas before i used to have to keep bringing them in okay so i already have this in here okay and i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to extend it Okay, so as you can see here, you've got some options. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, drop shadow does work, all right? But for this, we are simply going to go right to color tint. If you hit this, it's going to bring up enable color tint, and then you can go ahead and start working with it. Otherwise, you can just kind of hit that check button and it'll bring this box up. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go with, let's see, no. Let's go with this color. All right, and here you have all of these different colors you can choose from. However, if you already have a color, let's just say you know how they all come with these little formulas, you can always put it here. You can also hit this button and go ahead and choose from any of these, okay? There we go. So as you can see here, what happened, it already by default, it'll go to multiply. And you can see there's a little bit of that color tint here, okay? If you wanna totally change the color, you would just simply hit lighten. And actually guys, that's pretty much it. <laughs> this is what I've done, all right? There are lots of other options you can choose here that are going to give you some different effects, okay? Some of them will bring it back to black, some of them, 
will simply, I don't know, I didn't see the hard light gives makes it red. Okay. You can change all kinds of stuff here. All right. That'll make it gray with some with some pink in it. But just the quick and easy way, honestly, is just go ahead, go right to lighten. Okay. And now you have just successfully changed the color of the graphic. You would simply export it. Okay. And then you would save it. Okay. So you would name it pink edit art. All right, you'd want to save it as a PNG. All right, and there you have it. Okay. So guys, that's how you work with it. So really quick, what we're going to do, all right, I'm going to close that photo and I'm just going to show you really quick. Let's go back to, actually, we don't really need to do that. I just hit that button here. No, sorry. We just hit. <laughs> We're just going to go back to um, go back to designer from here. You can get to the designer from there, but of course, it's not going to work properly right this moment because I'm hitting the wrong buttons because I'm on camera <laughs> because I'm talking on camera. But you can do the same thing here with lots of other graphics. Okay can change the color. All right, enable the color tint. What we're going to do, let's go with like a like a yellow. All right, like a golden kind of yellow here. All right, we'll go to lighten and there you go. And there are all kinds of other really cool effects that you can do with this and I'll get into that in a different video. But I just wanted to show you how to go ahead change the color of a black graphic. I've shown you with a couple of different ones now. It totally works. Okay, and this is one I had actually just downloaded from uh, Creative, I think it was Creative Fabrica. Love that website. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I can make that kind of a maroon color here. Let's go to lighten. There you go. Okay, so this is a great way you want to start altering your graphics. Let's just say you've gotten something, say, from Creative Fabrica, and they're telling you, hey, you know, go ahead and use the graphic, but we want you to create a design out of the graphic. Don't just plop it down on a mug or something and try to sell it. Then, and actually, you kind of can do that, but that's a whole different video. <laughs> but if you wanted to change the graphic or you wanted to create a design and change colors, this is how you would go about doing stuff like that, okay? Okay. So guys, I hope this helped you out. In the meantime, you know, feel free to check out some of the other videos I have on working with graphics and where you can get them. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. If I have an answer for you, obviously I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I love hearing from you because I have totally made videos out of questions that I have answered if I feel it's something I can do. I hope this finds you well. I hope that you are able to take this and now start to work with this information. I wish you so much luck with your projects and until next time, take care.